Home's decor and designs. Today, we will share with more than 100 collection of home library interior designs and tips for designing your private home library to be your personal sanctuary ideas. But, before that, we want to ask your support to make this channel grow with we'll subscribe to this channel, leave comment, hit the like button or share this video to your friends and family. A home library, also called a private library, is a collection of the books and other reading material a person keeps in their home. Typically owned by an individual or a small group, a home library is tailored to fit its owner's preferences. Having a private library in your home is something that can serve a number of functions in your life. First of all, it can be your own personal sanctuary away from the problems and pressures of the outside world. As long as you are within the walls of your library, you can focus on anything you want, and nothing has to edge in on your private time. It is your space for self-enrichment, and that is what makes it so important to take care when designing your home library. If you are able to find the right balance when you are designing your home library, the result will be your perfect sanctum of knowledge and enrichment. The first thing to consider when you are designing your home library is what sorts of library furniture you will need to have. Now, these needs will certainly be different from one person to the next, depending on what precisely you intend to use your library for. In some cases, your home library might be part home office, in which case you will probably need a desk with enough room for paperwork and a computer to fit comfortably. Or, perhaps, you would rather use your library as a study, a private place to read and think, in which case you will need a comfortable chair and a great deal of shelf space upon which you can store your books and so on. If you want your library to also be able to support some manner of crafts you might be interested in, such as puzzles or models, or even some other interest you might have, like coin or stamp collecting, then you may want to include some large table space to give yourself a place to work. Another important thing to consider when you are designing your home library is what sort of atmosphere you want to have. That depends entirely upon your personal preference and what sort of atmosphere suits you best. If, for instance, you are the kind of person who likes a dim room that will allow you to relax in order to focus, then you should work in dark tones and adjustable lighting into your design. If you prefer a brighter atmosphere, then obviously you should work in lighter tones and brighter lighting. The most important thing to focus on when you are designing your home library is to know what you want out of the end result, and then strive for that goal. If you want a place to have fun, then focus on fun in your design. If you want a quiet place to work, then make your space work friendly. If you just want somewhere to relax, then tailor your design to whatever puts you most at ease. Whatever method you choose in the end, designing your home library will be a rewarding experience that will yield even more rewarding results. It is enough for the basics, after this, we will provide you gallery of private home library designs ideas for your inspiration. Again, thank you for watching this video, hope you like it and get useful inspiration from it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel Homes Decor Designs, hit and smash the bell button so you never missed our new informative and inspiring videos in the future. Thank you and see you on the next videos.